Hello. So in this example, let's check wall type properties and how to mod modify them. Let's activate Revit. In here, I have my wall fragment. I select it and I can press edit type. So from here, in preview section, I can preview my wall. I can choose different preview uh, from plan view, from section view. And in this area, the number or quantity of uh, different parameters depends on, on uh, families, add-ons which you use in your projects. If you insert some families or other objects from uh, BIM libraries, you can get a lot of parameters which you don't use, so it sometimes get a little bit confused. But main parameters are in the top part, so from here, let's check it out. So first you select family of your object. Next you can select which type you want to edit or modify or select for your project. Next part, constraints. So in this part, constraint part, you can select structure of your wall. You can select uh, wrapping settings of your wall, how external part, internal part wraps. Uh, next part, you can select function of your wall. So from here, you can see interior, exterior, foundation, retaining, soffit, core shaft. So from here, you should use the correct setting. In graphical representation, course, scale, fill, colors, and pattern, you select how you would like the wall should represent in the course settings. So it is mostly used in sketches of architecture plans and in uh, simple plans of your uh, wall plans. So you can select the hatching pattern and, and also the color. Next part, material and finishes. From here you can see uh, which structure material is used for your core of your wall and other parameters uh, you can create by yourself. So these are from other families implemented here. Next part, analytical properties. So from here you can see a heat transfer coefficient, thermal resistance, thermal mass, so they are calculated automatically. In this calculation, you just have basic uh, calculation uh, formulas. You don't have uh, exact calculation of your wall heat transfer coefficient. Uh, you should implement additional uh, parameters coefficients according to your regulations in your local region. But for just basic understanding and basic coefficient, uh, you can see what are the numbers. Of course, all the layers should have correctly described material settings and other stuff. Absorption, roughness of the wall, so you can put these parameters here. Next part, identity data. So from here you can put how the wall looks if I I'm considering it like a different type. Uh, you can put keynote, you can describe the model if it's manufactured object, you can put manufacture if this object is manufactured in the factory, or you can put several manufacturers which use materials for this wall. Uh, type comments, uh, if you use this wall from uh, any location or any manufacturer page, so it is uh, very great if you put your URL code here, link. So uh, at any point, if you have questions or discussion with your client, you can just select this link and you can open the example from other locations. If this example is not suitable for your client, you can just change it or look for another example. Description, assembly codes, type marks. So type mark is for all the type. If 
this wall is used in different uh, locations so you will see a type mark for all the walls the same uh, the simple mark is just for object and type mark is for type of the objects and of course other parameters so you see a lot of them are implemented when you insert different objects in your project so later you can purge delete all unused parameters but at this moment we can see them like here